Hello right, guys, I want to try and make a quick video about my log splitter here. Um, got questions about the engine. It was a Wisconsin two-cylinder engine. This is a hydraulic tank in the red. The engine's like a like a machine, like a blue color. It is a I think a THD. I think I'm, no, it's not coming out. Anyways, I tried. Wisconsin THD. It has a uh, starter on this side. And I apologize for my neighbor who's uh, doing some chainsawing. This is a homemade uh, log splitter. Middle of an oil change right now. And I had like three questions. One was the starter drive. Um, it's always really noisy when you first try to start it up. And, uh, and, um, and uh, another question I have was this right here. I believe this is like a grease cup. I just, I'm not familiar with exactly how these work. I'm guessing you, you fill this up, take it loose, fill it with grease, and then turn it. And, and then I just need to know how often to turn it. And, and that what that does is it greases up this uh, drive right here for your distributor. This drives off the back of the generator. So there is like no way to uh, for a motor oil to get in here. This is the oil dipstick down here. And the other question I had, I'm not sure what this engine used to belong to. There's this apparatus here, and this might be part of some type of a low pressure engine oil shutoff. I don't know. But um, if that's where the an oil pressure tap is, I was just kind of wondering because I'd like to put an oil pressure gauge somewhere around here because I had it running yesterday getting hot because I like to change my oil hot and it made a bunch of racket, a bunch of noise. Yeah, whatever this came off of industrial wise there's a weld here so I don't know what that rubbed up against but they welded it closed so anyways I was just kind of wondering what grade of motor oil to use how often to, to keep grease into this drive here and I see there's a little oil cup here on the distributor drive or part of it and there's one for the other side of the generator here it's made with two hydraulic cylinders Two of them go out, one go back in so that it goes faster. So I'll try to get one with it up and running here as soon as I was going to give this to the uh, Facebook Wisconsin Heavy Duty Air Cool Engine page and see if they had any any suggestions for me. But I was wondering if I can. I thought about putting like a small hole in here someplace so I can oil up that starter drive without taking it apart. Anyways, uh, yeah, it sounds terrible when you first try to start it up, and I don't. I think you can get parts for these things anymore as far as like a ring gear or stuff like that so anyways that's it thank you guys for watching goodbye